It's now even easier to create collage cutouts in Canva, like these, and even animate them like this. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, so the first thing that we want to do in Canva is get a new page and put all the images that you want to cut out on your page. So the next thing you're gonna do is go over to apps and you're going to look for this one called choppy crop. So if you don't see it, you can just search up here, choppy crop, and we're going to click on that one and open. So you're going to select one of your images. So here we've got our teapot selected and now we can start our choppy crop. <laughs> so over in the editor here, so you see this bit over here is where we're going to make our cut. So what you do is you click and you just drag to the next foot and click. So you just keep going around clicking where you want to make those cuts. So as the name suggests, it's choppy. We're not making beautiful rounded cuts and making it choppy. Like somebody's just quickly cut something out with scissors to give it that really scrapbook kind of feel. And this is a lot quicker than the older method. So I had a method before where you had to download the images with a white background and you had to use the rubber tool. So this is a lot quicker now. So there we've got our choppy crop and we can now press add to design. And there we have it. So we can remove the old one and there's our new choppy one. So let's try it with another image. So let's try it with this one. So to do the next image, we can click here, replace current image. So now it's got the image that we've selected. And we can again go around and choppy crop. So one like this, if you wanted to, you could go real detail, go around every single petal, or you can be more looser about it. So you really can do what you want with it because it's not automated where it just picks what the cuts are for you. You can give it the look that you want it to have and decide how detailed or how loosely it's going to be cut around. So as you can see, it's super easy and it also gives it that really sharp cut out look, which is even better than the old method. So the old method could feel slightly rounded sometimes. This feels really nice and choppy to give it that scrapbooky feel. Now, if you wanted it to have a white cut out background rather than that color, whatever the normal background is, you would go to the effort of first removing the background. So let's do it with this one. Then putting it onto white. So we would, instead of this color here, we would choose white. Then you would want to download that as an image and then cut it out. So now it's got the white background on it. So there is an option if you prefer white than the other background. So it's up to you how you want to go about that. If you want to just keep the background that's there or if you want to change it or if you even want a different color, you can just make sure whatever your background color is and download that. So you'd want to go to share, download. I'm going to download it with these other ones for now. But I will show you because we can just put the image in and cut it out. It doesn't matter that there's other things in the way. So really it does make it very easy because you're not having to fuss too much at all. So we can just go to uploads, upload the file. So as you can see, it came with everything in here, but that's all right because we're just going to cut it out. So we'll make it a bit bigger there. Back to choppy crop. Got our image selected and now we can go in and cut it out. Now, as you can see, the smaller the image is on, compared to the actual page size, the harder it's going to be to cut around because it's small on the screen. If you can get it so the Im image takes up most of that screen size, it's going to be a lot easier for you to cut because you can see it a lot easier. So there we go. So let's delete that one. Now let's give this a color background so you can see how that looks. And see, that's how we gave it that white. So you do have that option if you want that white background or you can just keep the background that's already there. Now, the next thing we can do to make this even more fun is if we wanted to use it in an animation. So you could put this on top of a video, you could download it as a GIF. You could use this to create a really fun animation because it has that scrapbooky fun feel to it. So what we'd want to do for this is select the one you want to use. You're going to click on animate. Then you're going to scroll down and go to wiggle. Now, what you want to do is choose the intensity. So you may not want the wiggle to be too big or you might want it to be bigger. It's up to you and you can give it that little wiggly feel. Now, the other option is to choose scrapbook. So we could choose this, choose scrapbook, and then it has a coming in animation. Instead of just sitting on the screen moving, it, and it comes in in that scrapbooky style. So depending on what you're trying to create, there are these different animation options which give it that scrapbooky feel like it's moving around on the page. So this can really be 
a lot of fun, as you can see. And it makes something feel a bit more handmade. It just gives something personality. Sometimes adding these little touches just gives personality to a graphic, whether that's going to be a animated GIF or whether you're just adding this on top of video. It can really add some personality to what you create because it feels like the cutouts and the just fun little animation. And it doesn't feel so robotic or computer generated. It has this sort of handmade feel to it. So have some fun with that and make some scrappy cutouts. So have some fun creating your cutouts. And if you'd like to see more Canva tutorials, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time.